Era il fuori di decisione e il fuori di stato di Rama. Ma io ho visto che la Thanks so much. Uh, first, I appreciate a lot the words and the speech of Francesca, because uh, 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 to go from uh, a great idea to success, uh, we need something. Something means uh, hurt, means uh, bravery, means uh, the capability to risk, means uh, to have a great determination. Uh, even in her emotion, we saw everything of us. So that in the speech of Francesco. Thank you. Uh, if we speak about complexity, I think we have uh, to judge that it's not enough to have rules to get up. Because we, if we speak uh, just about rules, uh, we risk to be narrow, thick and slow. We need uh, to speak about, on my mind, uh, a culture of organization. But about that, what is culture? That we know that culture is uh, everything we can inherit uh, that is not uh, genetic, with the good definition. But I prefer to tell you that uh, culture is uh, the organization that people give to themselves to live better. That means that everything is culture and everything can be used in culture to live better. But in this case, uh, if uh, we are in the moment uh, to find a mission to go in this direction, which is the mission of a cultural organization? Uh, maybe two. The first, uh, to give comprehension to people. Uh, comprehension means uh, to understand what is happening, so it means to be free to give your contribution to the future. If you are free to give your contribution, if you are determined to do that, you can do better. So it's a great mission to get comprehension to people to live in a society. This is the first great mission of a, a culture of organization. The second one for young people is to organize the life of young people in order to understand which is their mission and their vocation. Young people must understand what is important in their life, what is very important to study and to profess in their life, because we miss a lot if a lot part of the population is not inspired in their work, in their job, in their mission of life. These two things combined together are so important that the most part of uh, the great uh, nations in Europe uh, invest uh, in this mission a lot, a lot of money. 20, 30, 50 times more than in our country. This is a pity, this is um, something lacking. We have to react to that. Now, uh, to go on with our speech, we have uh, to understand which is the key of success and how we can understand. Uh, complexity means uh, that uh, individuals, an organization, a system, for instance a nation, can combine it together to get a result. Uh, the egoism to think to ourselves or to our organization without thinking to a great system is not more possible in a very integrated and zippered society and world. So we need some keys, something to understand what's happening in our individual activity, to ourselves, uh, to our organization in which we are working on, or in which we have some responsibilities, and then to the system, the great system in which we work and we live. Now, uh, we can speak about attraction. Attraction is a good uh, uh, system to understand which is uh, the, the way uh, and we can understand if we are going the right way. Uh, we can make a first question. Uh, 
what, what, what are we doing when uh, we wanted to attract somebody? Uh, who and what we have to attract and uh, in time? And uh, who and what we need to attract somebody to our system, to our product, to our service, to us? Then we have uh, on my mind uh, four uh, different possible items to work on. The first one is uh, sure uh, the knowledge uh, is uh, the possibility of people to understand what's happening is uh, the human capital. Human capital is a word used by Francesca before. It's a wonderful definition. Uh, to make that we have to invest every day to think if you have responsibilities about our, our team uh, to invest to improve the human capital and the competence. If we invest in competence, if we have a plan of competence uh, for ourselves every day, for our team every day, to mix the teams of our system every day, we make a great job and we can measure our improving every day and every year when we make a, a budget of our work. Uh, and so this is so important that uh, on my life, uh, in my job, I think that more than 50% of my time is dedicated to improve. Uh, I try to improve myself, but especially if you have responsibilities to improve the people who work with you. With you. Uh, then uh, you need to work in flexibility. Uh, if we had to speak about a company, we can speak about the flexibility and the reaction of a market. Because uh, if a great company what, would like to invest in a nation, we will we'll choose a nation in which is the, re, the market is reactive. This is one of the items important for a, a great company, for a great investment for finance. It's a good thing for everybody of us. Uh, in a world in which individuals are important, but are important also the integration uh, between us, we must be flexible. We work with people. We work with human beings. We can't be in a condition to dedicate our intentions just to rules. We have to be flexible and understand that every day we can have something to change to be in a better condition to work with people. Uh, the third, on my mind, is so important too. Um, and uh, it's a thing in which I, I worked a lot. But uh, before that, uh, if we work with people, uh, we have to be light. Uh, because uh, people have their individual sensibility. Uh, people is important. And so to be light, uh, we, we have to touch with the fingers every day uh, the opportunity to make something for them, they said before. Uh, but Paul Valéry said, uh, you must not be light like a, like a feather. You must, uh, you must to be light uh, like a swallow. You must to have a direction. You can change direction. You have to change direction. Uh, going on. Sorry. Me too, I have the same problem. <sighs> yeah. uh, we need uh, hardware. Uh, to work, we need hardware. We need uh, to have uh, the things to work, too. Um, a few years ago, I met uh, a great friend of mine now, but uh, when I met uh, him the first time, he was a great maestro, sculpturist, Japanese, Kenjiro Zuma. And he is uh, 85 years old. He was a kamikaze during the last war. And he is still alive because the mission uh, will be a few days after the end of the war. He had a great depression after that because it was a great disappointment for him not to, to die for the emperor. Now he's a different man, more than 50 years uh, later. And they saw the sculpture of Kenjiro, 
great bronze with a lot of holes inside. And the first time I asked him, Maestro, why these holes? What means? What was the meaning of that? And he said, uh, I hadn't anything from uh, my ancestors. Yes, I have some things, materials from my grandfather, my parents, but from them I reached the identity, the, the spirit, the tradition. This is the whole. And it is the whole that gives dimension and size to the matter. It's not the contrary. That means that it is our spirit, our will, that give dimension and, and we can choose by that the things, the material things by which we have to use uh, our time to reach our goal. This is very important. Start from your heart. Start from your bravery. Start from your will and capability to risk. And start uh, from the good quality of relation you have your, with your colleagues, with the people that work with you. This is the most important thing in every moment of our work, in our job. We have a great team. It's not in the TED conference uh, will to speak about the, our companies, our organizations, but uh, we have a great team. I, I'd like to, to thank them because uh, as uh, happened this night, uh, from young people, we understand, we have the opportunity to understand a lot, a lot of things, a lot of great lessons for young people. Uh, we have to be very uh, human to understand that from our cooperators we can learn a lot. Uh, in this case, uh, our organization uh, have the opportunity to work with the mission I said before. Give comprehension to people what means uh, science and technology in our life. And so we use a payoff, a promise. Uh, science is culture, not science and culture. Science is culture. In our future life, we need people working in uh, science with the capability to take the science to, to the normal people that haven't any preparation for that. Uh, this is a mission. Like is a mission to learn to young people, starting from the kids here in Trieste, and there is Imaginary Scientific, a wonderful example of that. Uh, to give their degrees of freedom with different uh, direct experiences, uh, with touch, hands-on, uh, different experiences, what is their future, what they love or not. Because uh, in that future, there is the future of our, uh, of the planet, really. Uh, last, we are at the end of our time. Uh, during the last uh, World War, uh, after the terrible bombing of Coventry, Winston Churchill asked to his Minister of Finance help because the war is terrible but also has a great cost. He needs money to finance the, the war again, against the Nazism and against the possible invasion of the United Kingdom. And uh, that man said to him, okay, we can cut off completely uh, the financing of culture. And Winston Churchill uh, replied immediately, and now uh, why we'll have to fight for? Thank you.